Hey guys, it's me, Wilson, and we're back for another video on yeah, F1 22. We're here for round two of PSGL yeah, was, uh, season yeah. 32. Yeah, and we're here for yeah. an interesting race. We're here for Abu Dhabi, which is quite an annoying little track. It's quite a technical track, especially the last sector, so this is definitely going to be an interesting race to get through. Going into this, felt quite good, felt quite confident. Um, as usual, to be honest, I've never really went into a race this game feeling awful, apart from maybe Monza in Japan last season in PSG. Um Felt alright um, practicing with Barry, you know, really getting everything pretty nailed down. Um, so yeah, I was looking forward to it, looking forward to having some fun racing against some good drivers again. And um, yeah, currently leading the constructor standings with Barry after last time out in Australia where Barry won and I got P3 um, and we're third in the standings as well um, which is pretty much just where we finished at round one so um, yeah heading into this kind of just hoping to try and snatch second in the standings or maybe maintain third but yeah just trying to have another solid result but we're here in Q1 very low grip as we try and get some heat into the tyres and about to start our first lap of first lap of the night um, in Q1, so we're round the final corner now, we actually get an awful exit and lose about 300s there I reckon, but um, doesn't fit the agenda. Going into turn 1, just want to break after that big pole on the right, get a good bit of rotation there, swing it through this long left and then this flat right hander, which is, it is flat, but it's definitely not easy, easy flat, I'll put it that way, and then going into the sector 2 split, just want to break as the curb starts, down to third gear, up to fourth, and then opening, and opening that wheel up and getting that power down as we open DRS and fly down this big main straight. This next corner is very tricky. All the meter boards are gone. So we're going to use the curb as it's just easier to use this curb and know where to break. Getting the front end bit right in. And that was a really nice chicane from us there. And it's looking like a pretty tidy Q1 lap so far. Um, this has looked pretty neat. And I think we just need to finish it at this point to be safely through. Going into this long left, it's a 0.5 split. And we get a lot of understeer there. And we've lost a lot of time there. Which is not ideal. And then going through this right-hander now. We're going to have to nail this last sector to make sure we're comfortably through 2Q2. Using a lot of track on the right-hand side. Using that curb on the inside. And going right up against the wall. Through this flat right-hander. Abu Dhabi layout has changed. And then we miss the apex of the last corner. So... That's a lot of time, that's about a tenth and a half minimum lost in that last sector, just out of mistakes, um, which is quite annoying. And we chose the option to go out again, um, whether that be the right one or not, we're about to find out. But we're about to start our final lap in Q1. I thought our time would be through, but I guess we're going to find out if it was enough or if it wasn't. Let's go into turn one, usual breaking point, clip that curb trying to rotate the car. We actually get a really good turn one, 400s up now, through this long left, then long right. And we actually invalidate um, our lap, yeah, yeah, as you can I see in the bottom the left, the track has went red. You can see my face, and at this point, I just back out. out. And, uh, I don't yeah. Think Jake is improving, but Jake, what the fuck am I doing? Not ideal, and you can see, we're waiting <laughs> for the final cars to cross the it's line, like and we're through. just through yeah, yeah, yeah. to Q2. We're P15, oh so one run was enough, but that was a <laughs> very Wilson. stupid mistake from us. I the long right. And, um, yeah, I was not I was not proud of myself after that mistake, let's put it that way, because that was uh, way too close for comfort, and um, made our life a bit more difficult than it needed to be. And these are just the silly mistakes that I think are coming through due to just, you know, the lack of driving I've done competitively in the last four or five months. So, um, you know, we live and we learn. And um, we learned, certainly, there. Going on to our first Q2 run on old tyres. We invalidate at the long left there. But we're still going to complete it just for the Did delta. We're going to make I'm sure we complete it as a delta is very important as we go wide and blow up everywhere pretty much. But yeah, finishing our Q2 lap on old tyres. What's going to be well, around the final know. corner? Ruben does a 0.5 and we do, we do a 0.28, which don't is not too to bad, but it's definitely not anything special. Let's put it that way. Um, you can do 0.9s fairly easily. Um, 
now we're starting our first proper Q2 run on a fresh set of soft tyres. So here we go, up to the line. This lap is pretty important because we kind of want to get through on one run, but let's see how it goes anyway. Fifth gear through turn one, clipping that curb nicely, gaining a lot of time through turn one alone, a tenth and a half up, showing how important new tyres is through that long right, not invalidating this time. And then coming up to turn four, two, three split, Breaking very late, trying to get a late apex. We miss it a little bit and lose a bit of time, but we get on the power nicely. And opening the DRS now, going down to the chicane. Again, this chicane is very difficult. You want to use all of this curb. It's very easy to lock up and snatch a break. As we go into this corner, we turn in a little bit early, but we still make the corner using a lot of lock on that inside left and then trying to set up the exit. We're three, four tenths up now going into the last sector of this lap. It's looking fairly tidy so far, nothing special, just tidy. So going into this last sector, it's a three split, very nice split actually. And we go wide again, we lose a lot of time at that long left, and um, that's definitely not ideal. But now going into this last court, this last right-hander, as we go into the hotel section, using a lot of curb on the right-hand side, we're now seven tenths up on our delta. This is on a point three. And then coming up to the last corner, just want to make sure we make that apex. We do make it, fourth gear up the line, and it's P2, it's a 4-5. And that yeah, might be like through, I believe oh, wow. the eSports split was a 4 11 cut off. Don't, don't, blame but, me. don't blame me, but I think Wilson is fine. But don't blame me, it's just my opinion. What was the cut off in eSports, a 3? Uh, I think really low four. Yeah. I have it open. But it's, this is not eSport. And as you can see, we were discussing there if we wanted to go out. And we did go out eventually. We took the gamble to go out and, you know, did not want to risk it as we go through this long left and go a little bit wide again. But you can see how much time we've gained 300s, 200s, and we still messed up the exit in that one. So. Yeah, we did eventually end up going out, and now we just need to complete this lap, pretty much, as we go through this long left, using all the curb and the exit, and 200s up only, as it's going to be a very marginal improvement, coming around the final corner, and that is 300s up, and it's P7. So, we make it, just about, we were actually going to be through by about 5,000s anyway in our first run, so the cutoff was pretty quick. But nevertheless, we're going to our final run now in Q3. Let's see what we can do. We've done a 22-7 on an old set of soft tyres. But nevertheless, this is the lap that matters down to turn one into fifth gear. Getting a really nice rotation on that curb there. But not carrying enough speed. And then through this long right, planted on the throttle. Coming up to the sector two split now. It's going to be a 1-8 split. Breaking just at the 50 metre board down to third gear. Getting the car nicely turned in there. That was a not lot of rotation, and a lot of rotation that we needed through that corner. Coming up to the chicane now, we can gain a lot of time here if we nail the braking. So this is going to be very crucial for our lap, slamming on the brakes down to third gear. Using a lot of inside curb there and trying to get the exit, but it was just a little bit timid. We didn't really get in the power very well, and we're only two tenths up on a point seven. We're actually on for a point five right now, so we're going to need a very good last sector. It's a 0 0.306 split, it's not great from us as we go through the last sector. We're wide again through that corner and we've lost time. It's been a very poor lap so far, a very poor last sector so far. Now we're going to have to really send it through these next few corners. We're on low wings, so we can't really do much through this last sector. Trying to use every little bit of track we can. We're now three and a half tenths up through the final corner. Breaking just down to fourth gear, down to third gear, up to fourth. Getting in the power as early as we can, and it's only a point two ah, seven. Fuck. What a shit lap. Such a poor lap. Such a and yeah, I was not very happy with that, as you might be able to hear. Um, but yeah, no one else to blame other than ourselves, as it was just. My race, please? I was told that. A massive yeah. hiccup, to be honest. Um, just stupid yeah, mistakes, yeah. as usual. And, uh, yeah, we live and we learn. But nevertheless, we're P7. So we've got Jake in front of us, John in front of us, and Tomic behind us. We're starting in the hard compound tyre. We've got three red lights, four red lights, five red lights. 
and away we go. Do we get a good launch compared to the cars around us? We get a good initial launch, but our second phase is really bad. We've actually got a really bad launch. We've got two cars next to us as we send it down the inside of John. Otis got a really bad start. He's just behind us. And then through this long left-hander, it's chaos just behind us. And I'm really not too sure what's happened behind. Otis is just behind us. He's got Tom Manley right behind him. And... Yeah, I'm not too sure what happened there with Otis, to be honest. Um, yeah, oh, I, I'm actually very confused what happened there. Uh, but now we've got Danny Bresney just behind us on a set of medium towers. We're up to P6, so we've gained one position off the start, which is a miracle considering how bad our, um, our run off the line was. We just got so much wheel spin. Usually I'm really good off the line in this game, but... Clearly not there, as we had a really bad start. Um, but we've got Bresney behind us on a set of mediums. We're not going to fight it too hard, but I want to stall him as much as I can. I don't really want him getting through the pack very easily, um, as, as I know those video. mediums will die off pretty Which quickly. By the time we get to lap 6, 7, 8, yes. I think the hards will be quicker. So I know if it I can, can hold faster. him back a little bit, it will help us in the end. Uh, it will just make our lives a little bit easier. Yeah, and point, right? At this point, we're P6. We're probably in the fight for a top five, maybe P4, or maybe even a podium if we get lucky. But we're definitely in the fight for a podium if all goes well. So coming around the final corner now, you can see John has a big snap. And Bresney is pretty much all over us going into turn one on those fresh mediums as we go wide with John. And, um, yeah, there's not really much we can do right now. But on lap 10, Bresney did pass us eventually. And, um, yeah, you can see the gap to Tom, 8 tenths. Uh, he seemed to be struggling quite a lot in the race. So does Tomic, who's about 8 tenths, 7 tenths behind um, Tom. So our race pace seemed really good, or at least this top 7 pack seemed like we had the better race pace out of the cars behind us, at least, because they were getting close to that 8, 9, 10 range quite a lot. Um, and we're able to save a lot of ERS mm, fairly easily. Um, for you, Wilson. You yeah. can see we're running lower wings, so we're gaining quite a lot on the straight as well. Nine times the gap is going into that chicane with really? DRS. As oh John God. Evans hits oh Danny Bresney, we go round the outside of John Evans. That's us up into P5. Now we need to use everything. We've got the gap to check Benham is 1.6, and that has came out of nowhere. You can see the gap behind Tom Manley, six times. We need to make sure we have a good lap now so Tom cannot get any moves done on us. And that is amazing for us. That has really brought our race to life now. We're P5. We're right in the fight for a podium now. But we need to make sure we don't make any mistakes. We have to catch Jake Benham in these final laps um, of this stint. And you can see we're really pushing. We get a walk. Warning on their first warning okay, of the race. You can see lap 11 yeah, no, still pushing to get in Jake's DRS. Yeah. The gap behind 1.3, yeah, the gap in front 1.1. And at this point, we start asking Barry, our teammate, who we are in a call with, just to slow the pack up a little bit, you know, just help just us a little bit. I think we'll catch anyway due to Jake yeah, um, having dirty air. But it's very crucial. Um, they slow down just a tiny bit so we can really push and try and get back in that... Um, DRS is it's so crucial and you can see the gaps 1.0 and it's just nine tenths now Tom Manley's also quite a little bit Tom has also nearly broke Tomic so you can see the pace we've just displayed there trying to catch it's actually very good we did a 26.4 on lap 12 um, so yeah race pace really good I was really confident in the race and I think her pace showed there as we're now firmly in the train we've saved a little bit of your S there's only so much we can save as we had to yeah. use pretty much all of it and yeah we had the the train on strings pretty much there when we were pushing as max whistle retires and um yeah brings out a safety car so that's our race round um it's went from good to bad pretty quickly um and i was very angry to see that because now we need to double stack with Barry, who is leading the race right now. And, yeah, that just makes our life really difficult. And um, it was really annoying, to be honest. We're trying to back up them, back the train up a little bit, but there's only so much I can do it without it being, being penalised. Two seconds, I think, is the max we can really do without getting a penalty. And you can see I'm trying to go slow into the pit box. I'm trying to do everything I can in my power. But... There's just not much I can do at all, really. Um, and yeah, you can see this is very painful to rewatch. 1.9 second pit stop, though. And we get jumped by Tom Manley, and we get jumped by Tomic as well. So, um, yeah, 
just our luck. Yeah, it's, uh, it seems worse. to happen every now and then to us, and yeah, there's not much you can do. We've just got to get on it, and we also get jumped by Iker and Ruben, so that's went from a potential podium, or a P4 maybe, or at least a top 5, to P9. And um, I'll just let you listen to see what the team thinks about that one. Oh, and I've got Iker unlucky in man. Uh, Wilson, unlucky man. I feeling I know how that should. <sighs> Niker's gonna kill me, so that's my rage. Right? No, positive, positive. No. You got this, bro. Yeah, you got this. Just shit happens. We have good pace. We have good pace. You can still get into the points. He has a penalty. We know we're faster than Tomac and Tom at least. Are you leaving? And Jake and Luke. No, no, no. And Ruben uh, is also on P5. Wilson was same pace as me in the practice. Come on, Wilson. Yeah, well, I know it's, it, it is shit. It is shit. It just happened. Just try to be your best. That's it. Yeah. And I'm so sorry. Uh, like. Yeah. So, team trying to g me up a little bit there, as well as Barry being very nice. Um, but yeah, now we've just got to get on with it. P9, which is yeah, quite right. a tough hey, go, pill go, go, to go. swallow. As the train eventually goes, and we've got about... How many laps is that to go? 12 laps um, of racing to go or so. And, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's going to be a tough race. We've got Alvaro behind us. He's got a penalty, but I if think that could be removed. I don't know about Iker, but we're going to try and pass Iker anyway because whether that penalty is legit or not, I felt I had the pace over Tomic and Tom, and you've got to make moves. I mean, it's racing. We're always going to try and pass, so let's see what we can do with Iker. We're already on the battery trying to see if we can get a move done. You can see our straight line speed really coming in to effect down this straight, but we don't want to use absolutely everything. We're trying to maybe fake him, make, it, make him make a mistake and nothing can be done there. We're going to try and see if we can get a switch back or something. We're just trying to put on the pressure immediately. And um, yeah, nothing can be done there. So we're going to sit back for this straight. And at this point, I was thinking this is going to be tough because we're really going to have to push to stay and uh, try and catch or try and pass Iker. But moving on to lap 18 now, you can see we're all over the back of him and we're using all of our battery. We're all over the slipstream of Iker Bena. Can we get a move done on him? We're really close to him now. Are we going to send it down the inside? No, we don't. He breaks really late anyway. And I think sending that would be asking to be put in a wall. But we're going to try and get a run on him out of this chicane now. We get a really good exit using our battery, tucking into the slipstream of Iker Bena. Can we get anything done? And we turn no, off the battery because there's just no way we're ever going to make that work. And... Um, yeah, you can see we're just all over him, and our pace was so much quicker this race. 21 now, through the chicane. Can we get anything done again? He has a little bit of a poor chicane, which I noticed exit. he was struggling with nearly. throughout the whole race, to be honest. So, um, we're pushing our URS now. Can we get anything done? We're running it dry at this point. I really didn't want to run it till 10%, as we try and do a fake, but nothing can be done of it. I didn't want to run it till 10%, because... I didn't want Alvaro yeah, knowing be I was in course. such low ERS because yeah, at this point terrible. he's on full battery and we've just used everything. And yeah, that's kind of screwed our chances at anything to be honest as we get our second warning of the race. And at this point I was really angry. Like, <laughs> I don't think I've been this angry in a league race in a while. But you can see moving on to the final lap, we've backed off a lot trying to save battery and now we're going to use it all in this final lap going into turn one we're very far back from Iker but we're just going to hope he can make a mistake either way we're going to go up to P8 but I want to get it done on track just in case that three seconds can be removed this has been a pretty dire race but we're going to try and use our frustrations into trying to overtake Iker you can see he's really close to Tomic hopefully that can give him dirt air or some kind of just anything um, that we can capitalise on Alvaro nearly nine tenths back and um He's struggling to stay with the pack in this final stint. As we go into the chicane now, this is our pretty much last chance. Iker is flashing. As he makes a mistake, he does go deep. Now we're going to try and get the switch back on Iker. We're going to get a really good run out of the chicane. We've got more battery on him. We are in low wings as well. We're going to use all the battery we've got left. And we're going to go down the inside just trying to get that gap that is so close to the wall. And that is us up into P8 on the final lap. And that is about the most action we've had all race. And we're using more battery, and that looks like that's going to be that. I don't think we're going to be able to get anything else done. And then we come round the hotel section for the final time in this race. 
and I'm pretty happy that this one was over. I mean, I wouldn't have minded it to go on a few laps longer because the pace seemed quite good. As you can see, Jake Benham and Luke good having shit. a bit of argy bargy in front. And you just hit me. I had to P8 so it is. And yeah, that is a very hard pill to swallow because pace was really good. We had a few plans in place as well for the pit stops that could have jumped us up into podium fighting positions. And yeah, it's quite annoying. You know, when you you finally start getting to the point in your career where you can almost fight for podiums every race and something like that happens. Yeah, it's tough. It doesn't help that Barry's my teammate and he's probably the quickest guy on the grid. So, yeah, these things happen. Um, but yeah, we finished P8. I'm pretty sure Ruben finished ahead of us. He got quite lucky with the safety car. Uh, Tom finished ahead of us and Tom... So that was three positions gone out of uh, just luck, pretty much. But um, yeah, that is what it is. A very painful pill to swallow. But next up is USA round three. And I'm looking forward to that one. But if you guys have enjoyed the videos, please leave a like. Please subscribe. Please comment. Go follow my socials, Wilson Hughes on Instagram and Twitter. Go check out the Twitch as well, which I stream this race on Wednesday at 7pm. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.